Hi everybody, welcome back to OC Avery today where under the spotlight we've got a very difficult, a very hard to breed hybrid bird that has a mutation known as progressive graying. This particular bird has puzzled fanciers across the UK this season at the shows. So in today's video, we're gonna take a look at that and shine a bit of light on it. So the bird in question is a bullfinch mule, also known as a canary bully. Now it was bred from a green Norwich canary cock bird that had white toenails to a normal bullfinch hen. And in its first year, it was like completely normal, like a normal canary bully, as we've seen on the show bench. But as this bird's aged and it's molted, it's got progressively lighter, coming almost clear. Because this bird has got lighter as it's aged, it's suggesting it's a mutation called progressive graying. This is not the same as leucism that we might see in the hobby or in wild birds, which is where pigment is missing from their feathers, making them appear pied or variegated. This is its own separate mutation. This mutation doesn't show itself until the young bird has fully molted its juvenile feathers, which first off appear fully melanized. This is caused by a loss of melanin produced in cells so as the feathers regrow they individually appear lighter making the overall plumage of the bird progressively lighter. You might recognize this plumage appearing the same as the London Fancy Canary. In the London Fancies the juvenile birds molt out their nest feathers to become clearer in their first molt. However, in the particular case of this hybrid bird, it happened in its second molt. When it molted its first year feathers into its full adult plumage, including its flight and tail feathers. It's believed different forms of progressive graying exist. It clearly can be an inheritable trait caused by a single mutation as shown by the recreation of the London Fancy Canary over the past decade or so. However, in other specimens, it has been found to be influenced by its environment or its diet. Multiple species have been documented to have this condition too, in both captive and wild birds, including red poles, hawfinches, plovers, shrikes, siskins and coots, just to name a few. This hybrid was bred from a green Norwich canary that had white toenails to a normal bullfinch hen. So could this have been an inherited trait or was it caused by a spontaneous mutation resulting in a very rare variegated hybrid? It's worth noting that this particular breeder has got a full sibling to this hybrid that is a fully melanized as an adult bird and does not show any signs of variegation. So now we're going to see the progression of this bird as it molted from a fully melanized canary bully into a nearly clear canary bully. <laughs>
So that does bring us to the end of this week's episode. So first off, I'd just like to say a big thank you to the breeder for allowing me to film this bird. And I'd also like to say a big thank you to the Cajun Avery birds who recently published some articles on progressive greying in the London Fanti Canary, wrote by Hugh Edwards. That's where I've got a lot of my information from today on facts about progressive grain. So anyway, if you've enjoyed it today and you'd like to see more from O.C. Avery, please make sure to subscribe down below, smash a like on this video and follow us on Instagram and Facebook to make sure you don't miss any more daily updates and behind the scenes footage of all of our birds. Now, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.